Hey guys and welcome back. First of all, I just wanted to say I apologize for the late upload, but um, the reason why is because I just recently started a new job, which I will be talking about in a future video, and between that and my other jobs, I have to figure out a schedule so that way I can stay committed to my YouTube videos, but at the same time, you know, be able to work and make a living and whatnot. But I still want to be able to talk with you guys and show you guys all of the stuff that I get and talk about my everyday life and everything, which again, we'll get into in a later video. So first of all, I wanted to, as you can tell by the title of this video, show you what I recently got from my local Goodwill. To start off, we'll get into the pants. So these are green velvet joggers, and I'm not even sure if the camera's picking my color up. It's a little bit better. They're kind of like a dark, I want to say dark jade kind of color. I got these in a large, I believe. Let me show you real quick. They have slanted front pockets, which I really like, and they're deep pockets too, so I can put my entire hands in them. They also come with a, I do not believe this uh, front part is adjustable, I believe it's just for decoration, but it's a little bow in the front. Um, it's a little bit messed up right now, so I'm going to have to fix that later, but um, it is adorable. I like it, and they are comfortable. They have no holes, no tears. They look like they were barely worn. Next thing I have is this cardigan, I guess you would call it whatever you prefer. This is by the brand Notations, and it is also in a size large. But altogether, this is very comfortable. Underneath, I just have on a tank top. To start off, this is another cardigan. I need more of these, especially for work. This is kind of like a half sleeve, three quarter sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Um, it also has a little bit of ruching right here. As well as, I hope you guys can see that. There's ruching on the side. By the way, I wanted to mention that everything I got in here was like $5. So, my total came to about $50. I had to take all the tags off because of course I wanted to wash all this stuff before I put it on this time. This next skirt, I'm going to have to tell you what the brand is after this. But it has kind of like this fake mirage of a belt. So it's kind of like a makeshift belt. I mean, I could probably pull this down a little bit further if I wanted to, but where it's sitting right now is a little bit high-waisted on me. This is a 5 to 6. This fits pretty roomily. Roomily. Roomy. And it also has like a little pleated bottom at the bottom of the skirt. It does sit a little bit tightly on the thighs, but I was able to zip it up. The only thing that I don't like about this skirt is the zipper. It's one of them, it's supposed to be kind of like an invisible seam zipper. As you can see, I'm struggling, but it's that little black thing. It looks like a little pebble in your hands. My only con about that skirt is it's hard to zip up and unzip just because of the fact that I have nails. So be wary of that invisible seam zipper. Just be mindful of that. But all in all, I actually think that all of this together looks pretty good. So the brand for that skirt was MKM Designs. I just switched back into the comfortable joggers that I have on here. Sorry for the flash and belly button. And I wanted to show you this cardigan that I have right here. It has like crocheted sleeves. They're not mesh. But I thought it was like a cute little design and then in the front it has like a drawstring waist and then you can tie it up if you wanted to or you can leave it open. I guess it's really up to you. But other than that it really is open. There's no buttons or anything but I got this as more of like a spring slash summertime piece for when it is a little bit cooler but you still want airflow in your skin. But I just thought this was adorable. By the way, I didn't mention brands for that last sweater slash cardigan, whatever you want to call it, because it is currently unbranded. I could tell you the brand of this one is Lucky Brand, 
and size extra large. So it has roll up cuffs. It is like a plaid kind of sweater. It's not really showing up like how it is in person. Like this is actually black. There you go. It's more like that. And then it's like a grayish kind of down here over top of the red. But further away for some reason it's showing up like dark red and then darker red rather than black. Anyhow, there are no buttons, but my favorite thing, actually I'm just noticing this now. If I wanted to, I could just probably sew this pocket down, but it does have pockets on the outside. I really like that. I probably might end up sewing it down because, by the way guys, I am getting into sewing, so I'll talk about that eventually. Because it's just like thin strings on the sides here. But this will be comfortable for like bedrobe or going out for like, I don't even know. Just going out. Let's just leave it with that. But it is long. Goes down to about almost my ankle, so about mid calf. It's very comfortable. It feels just like a heavy blanket, put it that way. I like it. It's swishy. It's totally me. I can see me wearing this. It's my platform boots that I just recently got, which if you guys haven't seen that video yet, please go back and watch it. But I do have another exciting video coming up for you guys shortly after this. Sorry if this video is a little bit uncut, if it's a little bit long, but hopefully you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, and comment as always if you wish to do so. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.